Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my review of A Verity by Colleen Hoover. So if you would like to hear what I have to say, then just keep on watching. If you are not a subscriber, if you're new here, my overall thoughts on the writer Colleen Hoover is that she is just mediocre. Yeah, I said it. I don't know what the hype is because I think it's just the Gen Z generation on TikTok that is like making everybody want to read these books, but I have not gotten much satisf satisf satisfaction satisfaction i have not been satisfied reading her book um maybe because there's the kids are so young and this is more like i don't know but i read ugly love last year and it was a two star for me um some of the parts were good but i just could not connect with the story i just i just couldn't i was going to do a reading vlog for verity but i ended up reading it at work if you don't know i work third shift and it's a 12 hour shift so I read the rest of this book. I had like a, almost 200 pages left and I read it and this book was just okay. I am giving this book a two star as well. I will not read it again. This is just something I probably will not read. But I do have some things that I did like. One thing I liked was the whole thriller aspect where Lowen thought she was seeing Verity in the corner of her eye all the time. I thought that was really interesting. It it was uh, it almost like pulled me in but not for long um also i really enjoyed like hearing about lowen's um like sleepwalking sleep disorder that she's had her or like nightmares that she's had her whole life because i resonate with that i've had nightmares for years ever since i was a little kid and they just stopped like a few years ago so i understand that and i used to sleepwalk when i was younger i've done it occasionally but not in a long time um so i definitely resonated with all that aspect um so it was nice to hear about that in a book because i've never heard about that in a book so the juicy scenes were pretty good but i was also thrown back when lowen was going at it with jeremy when she was going at it with jeremy and she saw like all the bite marks from verity on the headboard and stuff that kind of freaked me out and turned me off so like i after that i just could not read any more of the juicy scenes like that was weird um, I also thought it was interesting how the little boy was talking to the mom and Lowen could not figure it out. A thing that kind of freaked me out is about how Verity like tried to kill her daughter but she had her daughter kill her sister which was really interesting. I feel like Verity planted that into Harper's head to do that because just Verity did not want twins her whole, her whole pregnancy and that was like really interesting. It was so interesting just to read that um another thing when i read verity's letter i was shook like i was i did not think like any of that happened but honestly i don't believe verity i think verity lied in her letter i know verity killed her last daughter like if you guys really believe that letter you're insane verity is a killer she did not want daughters that is what i'm going on that is my theory and that's what i'm sticking by <laughs> verity just did not want to have twins at all she did not want any daughters and she found a way to get rid of them um so i'm very happy that lowen and jeremy killed <laughs> verity so that made me really happy at the end reading that and um i kind of thought it was like fast paced at the end where it was like seven nine months later or like seven months later where lowen was pregnant with their kid i thought that was progressing just way too fast i feel like there could have been a few more chapters in between all that but yeah that's just my thoughts on it a lot of interesting aspects to this book would i read it again probably not I do have one more book by Colleen Hoover and I hope that it's good. Everyone cried. I like all these books, but like I haven't shed a tear. I like can't connect. I like, I don't know why I cannot connect with her writing her books. So I don't know what's wrong with me. Something is probably wrong, but I have no clue. Maybe it's because I read really dark adult romance. 
that could be it <laughs> um but yeah so i give this book a two star and the cover just really speaks for itself the cover is just really nice so this book is a two star and that's how i feel about this let me know if you guys read this book let me know if you're gonna read it down below i think you guys I think everyone should give this book a chance because it was so interesting. Um, I think you should give this book a chance. This is just my cutthroat rating. I, I guess I write it a little too harsh, but that's just what I think. And yeah, I think this is definitely worth the read. So let me know down below if you guys have read this book and what you think about it. Or if you have read this or if you're planning on reading it. I love to chat with you guys in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.